All right, this video is about figuring out the error analysis for standard edition. Thanks for joining. So I'm going to be looking at my screen here while we figure out the error analysis. We're going to use uh, the example in the textbook. So I've already typed in the uh, X data here uh, that goes along with our textbook. And then I've typed in the Y data that goes here. There's nine data points. I did an average, as you can see. That's called the X bar. And then this is the Y data, Y bar. Our goal is to calculate the uncertainty or the error that goes along with uh, our answer, uh, the X intercept in our analysis. Once we figure out X bar and Y bar, we're getting, you see that we need those in this equation. Now, XI is each data point, and we're going to subtract it from X bar. So here's X bar, the average. I just copied it here. And you can simply just highlight and then hit control or just hit shift down and then control D down will quickly put it there. And then as you can see, I just uh, average, I subtracted C5 minus D5 and then I copied that all the way down. And then in here, I squared the difference. Now that gives me the squared sum, or this gives me the squared difference. But down here, this is the summation of all of those differences squared. So I need that. And to do the, the calculation, now I'm going to need um, the slope of the line that goes through a data. And this is done by using um, the Linus function. So uh, in here, I did the Linus function. I grabbed, uh, I need the known y, so I grabbed that first, comma, all the x's, comma. Uh, we're going to do true. That's going to uh, make sure it gives us the uh, y-intercept without forcing it through 0. Uh, true here gives us some stats. Now, in order for this to work, you're going to grab a two by three grid and then go back inside of this function right here, two by three, and then you're going to hit control shift return, boom, and that populates the data. This up here is your slope. This is the error in the slope. This is your uh, correlation coefficient squared here. Your y intercept is this number, intercept error there, and then your y error here. So we're going to use this information to complete this. So I need S sub Y. That comes from the Linus, and that is just from here. I'm going to need my slope. That's going to be up here. Uh, what else am I going to need? I'll need the absolute value of it. Oh, M squared. So we can, that's no problem. M squared. So then I'm just going to square that number. What else do I need? I need N, the number of data points. So that's nine. So I'm just looking here and I'm going to do this calculation. Um, all right, there's my averages and then here. So I'm going to do it in pieces so that may help. Um, so let's do, so equals, well, maybe we can just do it here. So I need the parentheses SY divided by the absolute value. I just make sure it needs to be positive, and it is. And that's going to be multiplied by the square root of 1 divided by N. So there's N, parentheses. That's going to be added to the average of y squared divided by m squared. Oh, there's m squared. And m squared is going to be multiplied by the sum of these differences squared. Close that parentheses, close the square root parentheses, and I should be okay there. And it says, uh, so this is u, we can call it u sub s, the error in our standard deviation. If you look at the example, uh, they said the standard uncertainty in the x-intercept is 0 0.098. And that's exactly what I got here. So this is how you do the uncertainty calculation uh, for this. And so they talk about how this uncertainty now needs to be multiplied by student T. You need to go into the textbook in table 4.4. And they grab a number, so you get TU sub S. 
and I forget exactly what it is. Oh, there it is, 2.365 for uh, n minus one data points. We call that the degrees of freedom. So the de degrees of freedom is uh, n minus one, or eight in our case. Once you get, oh, this is the student t, and then we need uh, t u sub s. We're gonna just multiply t and u sub s, and you get 0.23 millimolars. In this example, you're gonna get a different number for your numbers. And so in their example, um, whatever value they get, this gives you the error to go along with it. Hopefully that is helpful to help you determine the error.